So here we are this morning at the Fishers Museum in Anstruther and we thought it'd be really nice for you to see how Sheila and I get so excited <laughs> about Guernseys and how we record them, what we're looking for, things that are really special. Um, and so we're starting with this particular Guernsey because we're both in love with it. Very special. I'm in love with it. Very, very special. Yeah. Yeah. It's... Um, has a very particular tree of life design running mm. through it and it's only seen here in Anstra the Pit Moon, yeah. the East Nuke. Now I I love it because I think it's a bit of a pun here because on one look at it it looks like a tree, on another look at it it looks like herring fish bones and I think there's a, a, very, a little bit of humour being knitted into this Gansey which is really really special it appeals to you it appeals to me because i think that gives you the full story of the knitter of the maker of the piece the actual knitter it tells you a little bit about her about her humor but also about her incredible craft because it's a very complex piece of knitting isn't it it's a very complex piece with all sorts of little touches which on their their on their own, they actually look quite simple. We've just been talking about, for example, how she transitions from the rib into her pattern and she puts a row of pearl. Is that one row? A couple of rows, two, rows three, two, three rows of pearl. Two or three rows of pearl to create a ridge. Which you don't often say, see. No, no, you don't. That's you, quite rare. You very rarely see it. But what she's doing here actually is she's saying, watch out, the pattern's about to start. Because this is such a finely knitted Gansey, and obviously the navy blue doesn't help in showing the pattern. Mm -hmm. um, so she's sh showcasing it in mm -hmm. a way, maybe. She's framing it. She's framing it, that's the word I was looking for. But the brilliant she's thing is, we discovered that in the cast off for the neck, she She's has these, the same these same couple of little rows. rows of, so that when the neck is turned down, it actually marries up with the section here. So that's just a beautiful piece of knitting, isn't it? Well, not everyone would think to do thought, that. Thought through, um, seriously thought but, through. But we have we have known knitters mm -hmm. in knit club, for example, who have little signature touches. Yes. That they put into practically everything yeah. that they knit. Yes, absolutely, like a different coloured cast that, on edge. That we, we can recognise and so <clears throat> potentially potentially this was this was her um, signature. Something that she something that she liked to do. She also she framed it also at the top here just before starting her neck. Um, with one row of pearl this time, not two or three as she did down there. Um, so she was she was thinking the whole way through, mm. um, and and putting in some of her favourite things. Little things, yeah. Some of her favourite little things. Her her that showing her hand, her particular hand, you know, up at the in the Gansey. So yeah. This is a very special part of it because, you know, it's knitted classically in the round. There isn't actually a side seam stitch because she didn't need to, well, she did, didn't need to do that. She used one of the little seeding devices, devices um, which is a lovely diagonal pattern. It's a bar. A yeah, bar. A small bar. On the slope, and she's used that to create her gusset. her gusset, which is here, which is the most divine gusset. And you can see the density of the stitch work. There must be over sixty stitches to ten centimeters, four inches in this. So, um, I mean, this, this is either uh, a, a three ply at the very thickest, and it's incredibly fine and knitted on very very fine worsted. Needles. Yeah, spun, and then coming. So then coming back down the sleeve, which is which is quite plain. Um, 
she hasn't bothered with a seam stitch at all because she yeah. knew what she was doing. She did. And she, she, she didn't, didn't need it. She didn't need a seam stitch to no. to remember where she should be decreasing and which row she yeah. was on. She didn't need any of that. So, so that makes it very special in itself. In and that she's used the pattern itself to allow her to create the gusset. It's it's one of these um, more interesting gussets where you you start with a certain number of stitches and then you end up with a different number of stitches at the bottom. It makes a beautiful shape of a gusset, it, doesn't it? It does. It's it's like a funnel. Mm -hmm. It's more like a funnel than a and diamond. It comes to a lovely point. And it comes to a point and then and then it, it just fades magically, away goes magically, down magically. The sleeves. But however This the, is so exciting this bit. <laughs> the the shoulder the shoulder has been created using many versions of the tree. Yes. Which just brings huge smiles to our faces. And this wonderful. And the lines. The lines. She's she has she has chosen again to frame yeah. it. Yeah. She has chosen to frame it. Um and I'm thinking normally when you knit the saddle, you knit from the neck down and then carry the pattern on down the sleeve, which obviously she's she has chosen not to do, but it's almost as if she has actually chosen mm -hmm. to start at the shoulder mm -hmm. and work her way up to the neck. Yeah. She has. She has. Because this is so integrated. Is integrated. Mm -hmm. And that is unusual to say the least. It is. And when we say integrated, we mean the transition from the saddle into the ribbed neck. It so just, it's just a flow. It just up. goes it just goes straight up where the, where whereas there is more of a ridge, more of a noticeable change at the shoulder. Mm. So internally, and she's chosen to do that. What, what internally, Sheila? What's mm. the? It's always good to look on the inside of a Gansey. In fact, some sometimes I joked that actually, not only would the fisherman, especially with just the, the straight shoulder um, and, and neck piece, not only would they have reversed and worn them when one side's got worn, they turn them round and wear the other side. Um, but we also think you could turn them inside out and wear them because the patterning inside... The relief pattern. The relief is patterning is, is fabulous. Amazing. So it's always good to look inside, isn't always, it? Always, and, um, and particularly when you're looking at construction techniques. So the, the You can see it there beautifully. It just goes straight from the saddle into the rib. Yeah. There has been, there has been nothing there at all except the hand of the knitter. Down here, anything that has happened is actually more visible externally than internally. So for once, mm. the inside doesn't tell us anything. No. We would have to have a go ourselves and see yeah. to, to achieve, see what she's done to achieve that ridged effect but we're we're pretty sure that she has chosen very unusually mm -hmm. to knit the saddle from the shoulder up to the neck and she's chosen to do that because she can she could because she's a brilliant knitter she could now the tree is really interesting because it um starts with a very wide lower branch and those get smaller as they progress mm. up in a mathematical sequence and the number of rows between get less as it progresses up yeah it's it's fascinating to fascinating to knit i've knitted it now a few times and it's very long it's a very long it's a very elegant tree. tree and there is a center column so the trunk is um, a line of moss 
it's not a line of pearl because a line of pearl would disappear would disappear into the niche. Into the niche. Mm -hmm. It's a line of moss, mm -hmm. and that is is just enough to you know it gives just enough definition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can definitely for see people, it for people to see it. You can see it very clearly, and and it's also a great marker for the knitter. Speaking personally, yeah, it it keeps you. Um, because it, it is it is totally symmetrical. Um, they they most of them they all are, are they all are all Gansey patterns are symmetrical, they all are. which is really interesting. Yeah. Um, but this is really nice because it's knitted straight the way up in a very classic East Nuke Gansey style with simple sleeves, but real depth of pattern through the main body mm. and really intricate patterns and combining it with the saddle yeah it, and with the small details it just makes it really quite unique yeah and we can see that it has been well worn and yeah. well loved yeah. um there are some marks on the sleeve we can see where the the fabric up towards the top here is slightly felted and and to be honest that's good to see because if all that work had been put into this and then it had it had just lain in a drawer somewhere and not been worn and not been seen mm -hmm. then it would have been a shame and actually some gansies are quite stiff but even this has got really dense mm -hmm. tension not because it's a light three ply on a very tiny needle, mm -hmm. it's got incredible yeah. drape, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. It's light, it's not as heavy as some Gansies. So I think it would have been a really nice work wear piece for somebody um, rather than feeling constrained. There's a lot of movement within the, within the fabric of mm -hmm. the knit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I mean, doing doing the the shoulders this way with the saddle gives ease over here. Yeah. Prob probably, but more so than, for example, a three needle cast off. Yes. Would that's give. very rigid. Because Whereas that would have held it far more tightly. It would have yeah. held it far more tightly, but that does. Mm -hmm. It also gives two points of stress. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Front and back. Front and back, evenly shaped. For wear, so yeah. that it sits across the shoulder and then down with these two what I call hanging points where mm -hmm. the rest of the garment hangs from um, to, to break up the stress on the shoulder mm -hmm. and of course the, the gusset which is not a huge gusset because this was not for a big man this was for no. a, you know somebody who's a hard-working fisherman who's quite slender mm -hmm. but the gussets allow for that little extra two in the chest measurement to allow for better movement, would you agree? That's kind of is a device for giving. It is more a device, and w and we've seen here, we've seen a tremendous array of mm. sizes of gusset. We have. We've seen some absolutely some corkers, very long ones. I mean, inches and inches and inches long, centimeters and centimeters long, um, that that start practically at the yoke and go on halfway down the sleeve. Some quite extraordinary ones, but this is this is a very neat size which actually mm. fits in with the whole of the rest of the neatness yeah of this yeah. lovely gansy yes okay we love it we absolutely love it we do don't we don't we but there are others to love as well <laughs> and can you reach can you reach the one over there and we'll just have a quick look at that um, 